part of this bill is not just the issues in the bill as they stand, but the code and the implications of the code. Under this code that's developed by this government, you can't negotiate to have apprentices employed under your agreement. Now, I was a union official for 27 years. I negotiated agreement after agreement after agreement that said the company would employ apprentices, and not only for the benefit of the company, but for the benefit of young workers trying to get an apprenticeship. Under this bill, if the CFMEU or any union seeks to have an apprentice clause in the agreement for the employment of apprentices, young kids, no, nah, that's illegal. How stupid. You can't put local workers ahead of temporary foreign workers. Now, I thought One Nation were out there being the champion of Australian workers, yet they're going to sign off on this so that foreign workers will get, will get in before an Australian worker. And here's another one for One Nation. This bill, this bill makes it illegal to actually negotiate with the company that they'll use local manufactured products and building materials on the job. So we'll just bring it all in from China, just bring it all in from Korea, just bring it all in from Thailand. Don't give any day a fair go in Australia. That's what this bill does, stops a fair go for Australian industry. And one nation have already said they're going to sign off it. The employment of safety officers on the job, they are not allowed. That's not allowed. How ridiculous is that? And if you want to discourage casual employment so a worker gets a decent number of hours on the job, the code makes that illegal. So there's plenty there for One Nation. There's plenty there for Senator Xenophon. There's plenty there for Senator Hinge to, and Senator Leanholm. Well, who knows? Uh, you know, we will get a position. We'll get a position where we will see where you stand on these issues today. We will see whether you actually stand for Australian workers. We will see whether you actually stand for safety on the job. We will see if you actually stand for older workers. We will see if you actually stand for young workers getting an apprenticeship. We will be watching how you vote on every one of those issues. 